been attracted by the Cromarty Forest Port Authority to reclaim some land. It's about 44,000 square metres of port that we've reclaimed from the sea. First bit of works was dredging. We dredged the tow right the way around to form the shape of the revetment and then we started bringing rock in. We done the perimeter really with rock fill and rock armour. We have about 200 metres of 40 metre long sheet piles in. Then we closed the two sides and once the sides were closed there we started dredging material at NIG and bringing it to here. Invergarden here was built in conjunction with uh, NIG Energy Park, another job of ours. The boat dredger would dredge at NIG, sail down here, dock just out here and pump into our infill area here. We have concrete works to do down along the, the cope and the quay and we're just filling and grading the final levels. Well, the main challenge is bringing a um, quantity of rock um, to do the revetment there. There was 160,000 tonnes of the rock brought in. We went to a local quarry and sourced it and blasted the rock and got it used in the right way, bringing rock through the village, the local villages and all. We had to plan it out so to create the minimum disruption. We developed a traffic management plan which would mitigate any disturbance to the local community. And we've got a lot of wildlife here and the restraints in here are very, very high, especially because of, of the oil rigs. You walk out onto the existing finger key that was there and all you see is sea. And now you walk out onto it and you can use it. It allows larger vessels to come in here and dock and use these facilities. I mean, it came from minus 13 below sea level up to plus six, filled in with 250,000 cube of material. McLaughlin Harvey are very good at doing this type of work because they're very experienced in it. There's possibly only a few companies that can, that can build a job like this and they're one of them and have, are very experienced in uh, revetments and sheet piling and marine works and heavy civils.